31, I have a question coming out of section 3.3, number 13. And here we were asked to find an average rate of change. And whenever you hear that phrase, average rate of change, that's going to be something that we're, or that's, that's code for get me the slope. All right. And when you think about slope, we're always talking about a change in y over a change in x. Right. And we remember that formula y2 minus y1 over oops x2 minus x1. So basically what we're doing is we're subtracting some y values, right? And we're putting that in ratio to the subtraction of some x values. All right, now you're given the x values in this problem. We can see x1 and x sub 2 right here, 1 and 1 plus h. So in a moment, I am going to subtract those. I will literally take 1 plus h, and I will subtract 1 from it, and that's going to leave me with h. So my denominator is going to turn into h in a little bit. But I, I need to find a way to get to the y values. And how you find y values is if you're given an x value, plug it into your function. So what I mean by that is I need to find j of 1 and j of 1 plus h. All right, so that's how I'm going to work through, and I'll... I'll color code these, that's how I'm going to get those y values. And once I find those, I'll subtract them as well. So let's take a look at j of 1. According to this, this formula, all right, it'll be 3 times 1 cubed. All right, and then if I want to do that a little bit further, that'll be 3 times 1, which is just 3. All right, now j of 1 plus h will be 3 times, instead of 1 cubed, I'll put the 1 plus h in, and I'll cube that. Now, that's going to require me either using Pascal's triangle or multiplying a bunch of things out. And so when I do this, and I don't know how you feel like doing it, right? If you want to, you could foil these three things out. It would take you a while. I personally am going to use um, Pascal's triangle and do a little shortcut. If you don't know what Pascal's triangle is, take a look at it. It is awesome. It'll come back up a little later on in the class. But if you don't want to do Pascal's triangle, that's fine. Then just start multiplying this out. But whenever you have the quantity, and again, let me let me color code things. So if I want to just look at 1 plus h cubed, I, I, I've done that so many times I have it memorized. It's going to be h cubed plus 3h squared plus 3h plus 1. And then I'm going to distribute the 3, so I'm going to get 3h cubed plus 9h squared plus 9h plus 3. And ultimately, keep in mind, I want to subtract these y values. So I want to take this y value, and I want to subtract from it that y value. And those two things are going to go into the numerator of my slope. And then don't forget, we had our difference in x's, and that's going to go into the denominator, right? So I'm just, I'm subtracting some stuff, and that's the algebra that you see going through here. So you see my difference in y's, right? Here's j of 1 plus h, here's j of 1, and I'm subtracting them, right? My denominator was just the h, because when I subtract these two x values, I just have h. Now when you do this, whatever that original function, whatever the j of 1 is, in this case, it should cancel out if you're doing things correctly. So what I mean by that is if I take a look at this minus 3, I do have something to cancel with it, the plus 3, and that should always happen. All right, and then let's just, let me erase this here, and let's look a little bit, let's do one intermediate step. This would have technically here been 3h cubed plus 9h squared plus 9h, all over h. But I think you can see they have the h in common, so I can factor that out, and that's what I'm doing in this step. And then it allows me to cancel those h's, and that's what I'm left with. All right, so I know that's a lot of algebra. I mean, it's part of the fun. We're called college algebra. But that's how I get to that expression. And this, this idea, this average rate of change, especially with these variables, like you see that there's an h left over because we had an h to start with, that's going to show up in calculus. So this will definitely pops, I'll put pops up in calculus. All right, so this idea of this average rate of change, it pops up in calculus and we actually tack one more thing onto it called the limit, but that's, that's something coming later on down the line. All right, thanks so much everyone. Bye.